wonder of the world. Giant drawings on the Nazca Plateau. Are they runways for spacecraft? About several hundred years before the Common Era, the mysterious drawings on the Nazca Plateau could be considered the eighth wonder of the world. These drawings consist of perfectly designed lines on a flat and smooth surface, giving the impression that they were designed for flying vehicles. How could the ancient Nazca people create such giant and precise drawings? And how could they observe and appreciate them when aviation technology had not yet developed? Wondrous Structures The giant drawings in the Nazca Desert, located in southern Peru, remain one of the most enigmatic mysteries in history to this day. Did Nazca people design and create these drawings? And for what purpose? How could ancient people create such accurate giant drawings on the ground that could only be clearly seen from high above? Today, let's explore and discover more about this topic. The Nazca Desert in Peru is one of the driest regions in the world. The lack of wind has preserved the drawings. Over 13,000 straight lines and 800 giant drawings, mostly depicting animals and plants. These drawings were only discovered in 1926 when a pilot named Toribio Meyazesp flew over the area and saw many giant figures through the airplane window. Recently, researchers from Yamagata University in Japan used advanced technology, including artificial intelligence, to discover 143 new images along the southern Nazca Plateau. Mysterious drawings from above reveal various depictions of animals, plants, and peculiar geometric patterns. Among them are images of spiders, llamas, trees, flowers, and even human figures. The geometric patterns include straight lines, spirals, triangles, and the longest straight line figure on the Nazca Plateau extending up to nine miles. The construction methods are still undetermined. These drawings stretch for kilometers, some over 65 kilometers, and can only be fully appreciated from high above the ground. One of the most perplexing figures is that of a spider, identified by entomologists as a rare species belonging to Racinulae, which doesn't exist in Peru, but lives deep in the remote regions of the Amazon rainforest, 1,500 kilometers away from the Nazca Plateau. There is no doubt as to the species of spider, but the accuracy of the geoglyph is remarkable. This spider has its reproductive organs at the end of one of its legs, but which is visible only under a microscope, so the question of how they even designed it in such fine detail remains unanswered. Recently, archaeologists discovered a large cat figure drawn with Nazca lines on a hill in southern Peru, approximately 37 meters in length. It is believed that many more such drawings are buried beneath vegetation, stones, and dust over the centuries. Why did the Nazca people create these gigantic images? Are they related to religion, extraterrestrial beings, or astronomy? Countless questions like these continue to be asked. Hypotheses and Mysteries The mystery of Nazca drawings goes beyond their existence. Even the meaning and purpose behind their creation remain unsolved. Several hypotheses have been proposed. Number one, religious rituals. One of the simplest hypotheses is that the Nazca drawings are symbols related to the religious beliefs of that era. The Nazca people might have drawn these images as offerings to their sacred deities, with a large scale intended for the gods' observation from the heavens. Alternatively, they could serve as directional signs or paths in ancient ceremonies. German and Andean archaeologists found ceremonial offerings near some drawings, suggesting they might be related to prayers for bountiful harvests and abundant water. Number 2. Astronomical Connections Archaeologist Maria Reich believed that these lines had connections to astronomy. Some drawings correspond directly to certain constellations visible only during specific seasons. For example, the monkey drawing corresponds to the constellation Ursa Major, while the drawings of a dolphin, 
and a spider correspond to the Orion constellation. Number 3. Aqueducts and Underground Water Channels A remarkable feature in Nazca is the underground aqueduct system, considered unique in South America and perhaps globally. Over 50 underground channels were constructed over more than a century in the early centuries after the Common Era. Some channels are well preserved, showcasing spiral-shaped vents used for cleaning and maintaining the channels after earthquakes. Independent researcher David Johnson proposed the idea that the drawings marked underground water channels and wells beneath the Nazca Plateau. The lines, such as a trapezoidal shape, could signify the presence of water wells. However, this theory does not explain all the mysteries of the plateau. Why did ancient Nazca people create such elaborate drawings just to mark a watercourse? Number 4. Landing Strips for Spaceships Another hypothesis suggests that the Nazca Plateau served as landing strips for advanced ancient civilization spacecraft. The human-like figures may be the image of an ancient astronaut, but was mistaken for the image of the Nazca god. Researcher Eric von den Nyken believes that the Nazca drawings serve as a type of landing strip visible only to the gods, marking the ground and awaiting their return from Earth. There is also a hypothesis suggesting that these are landing paths for extraterrestrial spacecraft. The Runways on the Nazca Plateau the runways on the Nazca Plateau have another strange feature. This plateau is characterized by wide strips of flat land that appear everywhere. These strips extend for kilometers with various shapes, such as rectangles or trapezoids. Approximately 300 different geometric shapes have been counted here. Intertwined with gigantic drawings of animals and even more peculiar plants, some of these strips are intersected by precise straight lines. To date, there has been much debate about the origin and purpose of these lines. Some believe that the Nazca people once used rudimentary tools to create these lines with an undetermined purpose. However, others argue that these are ancient runways created for flying objects. Nowadays, the second hypothesis seems to be gaining more prominence. Additionally, these runways are perfectly designed with a flat and smooth surface, without any obstacles, giving the impression that they were designed for aircraft. If these lines are runways, could it be that the Nazca people used flying objects for transportation in the past? Unusual Archaeological Artifacts in Colombia To this day, no evidence has been found regarding the ancient Nazca people's flying objects. However, not far from the Nazca civilization, in the forests of Colombia where the Quimbaya civilization thrived, a model of an ancient aircraft made of gold has been discovered. This model closely resembles a modern-day airplane with its aerodynamic design, symmetrical wings, vertical tail, and even a horizontal balancing component resembling a fighter jet. Moreover, Numerous models of ancient flying objects have been uncovered in the region, all crafted from gold and measuring approximately 5 to 7 centimeters in length. Many of them bear a striking resemblance to contemporary aircraft, while others depict shapes of birds, lizards, amphibians, and insects indigenous to the area. Remarkably, all exhibit highly precise aerodynamic designs. German aeronautical engineers Peter Belting and Conrad Lubbers created remote-controlled models that closely matched the size and appearance of the gold artifacts found in Colombia. They demonstrated that these models could indeed fly using simple electric propeller engines and reaction engines. This lends credibility to the theory that the gold models in Colombia accurately mimic functional flying objects. So, who is truly the creator of the runways and aircraft models? The Quimbaya civilization emerged in the 1st century BC and flourished from the 4th to the 7th century CE. However, it's challenging to assert definitively that these aircraft models were crafted by the Quimbaya people. Gold, being a material with indeterminable longevity through radioactive isotopes, 
poses difficulties in dating. If the Quimbaya possessed advanced aviation knowledge over 14 centuries ago, one would expect records of their aeronautical achievements worldwide. Could it be that the precise runways and flying objects were created by a prehistoric civilization predating the Nazca and Quimbaya? Peru holds many mysteries of ancient civilizations, from the massive stones of Saxoamon to the intricate rock carvings depicting surgical scenes and astronomical observations. Ongoing discoveries suggest the existence of advanced prehistoric civilizations predating our known 5,000-year-old civilizations. While many believe these prehistoric civilizations faced catastrophic events leading to their complete destruction, they left behind numerous archaeological sites, providing evidence of their ancient existence. Hypotheses continue to be proposed, and research persists in search of answers to questions about the purpose of the Nazca drawings and how they were created. Why are these drawings so large? Did ancient people possess advanced geodetic techniques to create these enormous drawings on the ground, or did extraterrestrial visitors once create these masterpieces? Or perhaps there existed an ancient prehistoric civilization with advanced technological capabilities capable of creating such structures. I hope today's video has provided you with interesting and informative insights. Thank you for watching, and now, goodbye. See you in the next videos.